What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to another FIFA 14 Ultimate Team gameplay video. If you missed out on any of the videos so far on FIFA 14, you can go ahead and check out the playlist that's in the description. It'll also pop up on the screen as well, so be sure to check that out. Make sure to click that subscribe button to make sure you do not miss a thing as far as FIFA 14 is concerned. But without further ado, let's get into this Q&A. Now, it's going to be a Q&A style sort of thing. I'm sure I'll still comment on the gameplay as it's going on. It's a long video and a long match, as you can see. Uh, and I've got to go back and make a few changes. I had the wrong team up. Uh, as you can see, I had something about the center backs in there. But... I got asked loads and loads of questions in the comments section on Twitter, so I just asked for you guys to hit me up on Twitter with your, I guess, official questions for me. Try to get them all in one one place uh, and knock out a bunch of the ones that I see uh, quite frequently in one fell swoop. So, with that said, first question from Kev Keller, pace or strength? Now, this is kind of an interesting question. Um, at the start of Ultimate Team last year, I thought, you know what, strength is going to be more important. And it turns out, oh gosh, I was wrong. Pace was the most important factor in 13. Now, this year, because Ultimate Team plays at least a little bit slower right now with the addition to Chemistry Styles. Uh, and if you don't know about Chemistry Styles, I did a vid on that yesterday that you can check out. Because of... You know, every stat not getting a boost, especially when they're on that basic chemistry, then, you know, it's it's kind of slowed the game down a little bit and it's made Ultimate Team, uh, I guess, feel a little bit slower, which I'm excited about. Uh, and it should make for, you know, some better or maybe a more realistic Ultimate Team. Obviously, it will never be as realistic as head to head, but hopefully it will do. Now, I'm going to say that pace is still more important than strength, though, because I used a few strikers like uh, Wilfried Bonnie up front, who's obviously one of the strongest players in the game. And his strength was just not enough for me to be able to score goals. Now, on the other hand, I used some pacier players, and I tended to have more success. But that also boils down to my play style, where I tend to want to play quick passes and beat people, you know, with a quick movement or a quick counterattack, than I do wanting to just throw crosses into the box. I hope that helps answer that sort of question. Uh, I'm, I got asked a ton who was my favorite player on the game so far. That, without a doubt, was uh, Stefan El Sharawi. Well, actually, I don't know. Most, my favorite, most affordable player was probably El Sharawi. My favorite overall player, probably either Falcao or Arjen Robin, who you'll be seeing uh, in this game. Both of those guys were absolute machines. All right, and the next is kind of a generic question from Aaron Stewart. What's the main difference from FIFA 13 to FIFA 14? And that's a question I've been asked a load of times, uh, especially because people tend to think that, you know, FIFA 14 is kind of FIFA 13 point, wait, FIFA 14 is kind of FIFA 13 volume two or point one, point two. Uh, that's a lovely goal from Falcao, but what you saw on the screen right there just shows exactly how difficult defending can be because he uh, the master bucks drew one player out of position and because he drew that one player out of position you know Falcao who only has something like 78 pace was able to just run all the way through free on goal so it's when when people worry about pace being an important factor you really have to take into consideration how difficult it is to defend and obviously pace is one of those factors in real life that if you're a poor defender it's going to be a lot easier for someone to score on you if they are indeed pacey if it's a very good defender then strength is going to be more important because they're going to be in the right position more often than not so those are those are kind of two things to take into consideration but the main difference from 13 to 14 is the ball control and the turning you know obviously they they introduce like sprint dribble touches or something along those lines I can't remember what the actual gameplay feature was called, but the way you can no longer do just the quick little left trigger turns or dribble with just the left stick. I mean, you can, it's just not 
as crisp as it once was or as effective. You're going to have to use the bumpers and the triggers to turn now, uh, or bumpers mainly to turn, or like especially the left bumper. That's just going to be one of those crucial buttons for me in FIFA this year. Lovely little over-the-top through ball to Jackson Martinez, who keeps it in play out to Bruma. And I got asked about Bruma a couple times as well, because uh, some people saw him in my team. How was he? He's one of those players that's pure pace. Uh, his ball control wasn't as stellar as I was hoping for it to be. I looked at him, I said, four-star skills, that kind of pace. This is definitely somebody that I'd like to get into my squad, and he was okay. Uh, but that's Falcao breaking free again, and I think I lost, I got confused about what I wanted to do with that. Uh, but onwards and upwards we go with more questions from you guys. And the next question is, will finesse shots still be as OP when the full game is released? The answer to that is no. What we played was not a final build, and while we were at the event, we kind of said to EA, hey, these finesse shots seem like they might be really, really strong. Uh, and EA, I know, have gone back and, speaking of finesse shots being really strong, uh, EA have gone back and fine-tuned it. Uh, more so that they will not be uh, the way that you're seeing them in this game, which is fantastic because, you know, when I ask what are FIFA, what are finesse shots like in this FIFA, I definitely thought about the old FIFA 11 clubs with players with the finesse shot trait where you could literally just throw it in from the sideline, jog along the top of the 18, and you were pretty sure about 90% of the time that was going to be tucked into the back of the net. The next question is, how do you think chemistry styles will affect ultimate team this year now this is it's gonna have an effect kind of the way i'd imagine formation cards go or formation cards were on there um it's gonna affect player prices because i'm assuming that chemistry cards are gonna have different weights to them which means that some are gonna be more rare than others uh and obviously some are gonna be more desirable so some will be expensive some will be not expensive so it's gonna be an easy way to make some coins in the beginning when nobody knows which ones are gonna be the expensive or good chemistry styles now it's also going to uh, have an impact on you know ge on generally the way that the game plays out because certain players with certain chemistry styles I'm sure will be far more effective it'll also uh, allow for more customization because everybody's got their own play style on FIFA and you know some people will have similar play styles however with everybody having their own play style oh my gosh I must score here Oh gosh, what a fail. Oh, Falcao, please. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I've obviously seen all this gameplay and I was in all this gameplay, but sometimes when you're watching it back, you get just as excited like, oh yes, oh yes, please. This is going to be a great goal. Uh, and then it is not. But uh, chemistry styles, yes. So they finding the chemistry style that fits your style of play will be extremely important. And I think that'll allow, you know, people will get great joy from the game uh, having a chemistry style that, that fits them and that they enjoy using more than anything else. So onwards and upwards, I hope that's a, a fair answer to that. Uh, let's see. Will you take a different approach to P2P this year? And P2P stands for Path to Power. If you're new to my channel, that's kind of one of the main series uh, that I do on my channel. It's my my journey through Ultimate Team, at least starting off, uh, well, actually through a large portion of Ultimate Team, but it'll, it includes trading, um, gameplay, everything that you would want to do to, I guess, improve your Ultimate Team. So that first episode of that will be out on the 15th with the web app. We'll be open to start off the early release with a rather nice score. One. Uh, so let's see, where was the question? Uh, stick to Brasilvers. I don't really recall using uh, loads of Brasilvers in the past. In fact, I, I actually ended up hating them on FIFA 13. I thought they were no fun to play with, so I'm not quite sure where that uh, question came from. Near post still OP in FIFA 14? Heck no, it is most definitely not. Do Isco, Lamella, and Marcelo really have three-star skills? Uh, the answer, I believe, is yes. Uh, in the build that I played, they had three-star skills. If you want to check the final ratings, you can head over to foothead.com and search for any player that you want and get their in-game ratings. So that is pretty darn cool. Uh, have I played FIFA 14 on Next Gen? No, I have not. And the second part of that question is, if so, what is the difference? Now, since I haven't played it, I can't, can't comment directly on what my opinion uh, of the differences might be. However, uh, I can say that those at the event that played both Next Gen and uh, 14 said that uh, FIFA 14 on next gen is an unbelievable game. Um, it said it's, it's 
far better than it is on the regular console. So that's pretty exciting. That'll give us not one release date, but two release dates and two things to look forward to. Uh, he's a bit unlucky not to nod that header home. I was almost sure that that one was going to be in. Uh, next question, is PSG the team to beat on seasons with a mix of strong and fast players? Uh, no, they are certainly, they certainly would be in the top four teams, maybe. I'd maybe put them in the top four teams. You're going to have uh, Bayern and Real Madrid that I think are going to be the top two teams. And then you're going to have City and PSG that are probably the next two, uh, would be my guess. Um, City, because of Aguero, Silva Nasri, uh, Yaya Toure company, Michael Richards, they have a lot of good players for that season mode. Um, and PSG, again, especially with the addition of Marquinhos, if you guys don't know, well, they've obviously had Marquinhos, but uh, he got an upgrade. He's now 78 pace, uh, Brazilian center back. That'll make linking Thiago Silva very, very easy, but he works out quite nicely in seasons mode as well. Uh, and PSG obviously has some great attackers, but Bayern and Real Madrid are just kind of next, are in that next tier uh, for seasons. Bayern's got a ridiculous combination of pace and strength that will be very, very difficult for people to deal with. And then, of course, Real Madrid, with the addition of Gareth Bale, is just extremely terrifying. They still have Pepe and Ramos as center backs. Um, now, they don't have Ozil anymore or Kaká, but that's okay because they've kept Modric, and with the addition of Bale, that certainly makes up for it in terms of just a pure FIFA mode. Um, it, what's going to be good? What's going to be bad? Uh, let's see. A lot of these best players so far in 14, um, and the best player thing, it's always going to... You know, it's always going to somewhat depend on your play style. Now, there are certain players that everybody will generally agree are really, really strong. Aguero is ridiculous as well. Aguero, Ibrahimovic, I'll do a tier list once the game comes out and I get to play with some of the players uh, a bit more. I'll do a tier list and let you guys know which players I put maybe in, you know, my tier one, tier two, tier three, that sort of thing. Uh, and we'll... We'll sort it out that way because I think that's probably the easiest way for me to kind of review and rate the players for you guys. So the next question that we have is one that I've seen a ton of. It says, it's from John Rhodes. Is everyone who got early Ultimate Team access getting a restart instead of keeping all them players from packs? Uh, the answer is yes. Everything that you've seen as far as packs or players that are being used, I will not have when I start my ultimate team. I will have to go back, build my team just like you guys, open packs for me to have players to keep, do a bunch of trading so that I have coins to do it, and that's going to be uh, kind of frustrating because I got this taste. It was like just the tip, just for a second, just to see what it feels like of this ultimate team with this just phenomenal team and loads of players, and now I have to go back and try to get them all for my team. You can see I'm changing up formations right here. We're going to the 4-3-3 holding. I wanted to try this formation out. I think I was using the 4 maybe 4-4-2 second to begin with. I can't remember uh, the screen passed before I did it, but I'm going to bring on Angel Di Maria to play one of my winger spots. He's actually a phenomenal player in this game as well, and that is a weird thing for me because in past games, Di Maria has not been one of those players that I have found any sort of joy with whatsoever. Uh, let's see. Do you know how the players, etc., transfer to FIFA 14? Uh, that is from Hayatomo. I'm I'm assuming he's going to refer to if anything transfers from FIFA 13 to FIFA 14. The answer is no. All the stuff that you have in FIFA 13 Ultimate Team will not transfer to FIFA 14. You will have to start over because it is a new game. Now, if you're referring to whether or not things transfer from FIFA 14 current gen to FIFA 14 next gen, is my understanding that everything transfers over over which is very very good and very very exciting it's nice that ea wanted to make sure that people who bought the game early to get a jump start on it and start enjoying 14 would not be missing out on or would not be forced to go back and accomplish everything that they'd already accomplished again so hats off there and very very good stuff please let us know if the match multiplier is higher in single matches than in tournaments as it was in foot 11 uh, I actually can't answer that because it's not one of those things that I looked at which is weird and that's mainly because I did not play tournaments and I was or I didn't I don't think I played one tournament game because it was a bunch of us playing online single season friendlies Falcao a little bit of pace a little bit of strength Burba spin that must be a goal it sh was not a goal now in 13 that undoubtedly would have been into the back of the net on ultimate team however if I'd gone for a finesse shot there I probably would have had a better chance of that going in 
Uh, let's see. This is an interesting question from Ryan Sweeney. What previous Ultimate Team is it most like? Um, and that's, I don't know. It's definitely not like 13. Uh, it plays a little bit differently. Now, it's, it reminds me, I want to say kind of like FIFA 11, where pace was important, but it wasn't the ultimate end-all, be-all. Uh, you could use a lot of different form formations and still have success in the game. There wasn't this one or two super supremely overpowered formations. Um, it feels like there's space on the pitch again, which is nice, but obviously the demo drops today if you guys didn't already know that, so you will be able to test out head-to-head -head for yourself and see exactly what you think the game might be like. What series are you going to do in FIFA 14? Uh, that is a question that I've gotten a ton. So I can say with certainty that I will be doing uh, Path to Power again. I've also got a few things up my sleeve that I think you guys will enjoy that I will talk to you about uh, when the game uh, when the game really gets started um, and I've got those ideas planned out one of them will start day one of the game and you'll you'll be aware of that he also said I beg you to do a career mode series as well so if that is something that you would like to see uh, I am more than happy to do that because career mode for me at least in 13 was kind of one of the most I guess addicting game modes in the sense that I just enjoyed playing it and it was one of those where I recorded I didn't always necessarily want to upload it because it was just so fun to play and it was it was just extremely uh, extremely enjoyable so I've got a uh, I got asked yesterday day to yesterday day. Wow. Sometimes you just can't get your words out properly. Uh, I got asked yesterday too if I would be doing player reviews and if that's something that you guys want to see as well, I'm more than happy to do it. I try to incorporate player reviews in a lot of different things, but if you would like to see a series solely for that, then I would be very very happy to do, you know, a player of the week or something along those lines uh, where I pick out a player that I think's great that I'm really enjoying uh, because as you guys know if you've been around my channel for a long time, I will not recommend something unless I've enjoyed using it and had success with it. So uh, we will move on from there. Best formation on Ultimate Team. I did a video on what the best formations for me were that I had the most success with a few days ago. The link to the full FIFA 14 playlist is in the description. So you can feel free to go ahead and check that out. Is David Luiz still OP? Uh, not the same kind of OP that he was in... Uh, 13. Now he's still extremely strong, an extremely strong player. He's got great FIFA stats for a center back. And uh, that's, wow, I'm losing this game right now. So I, I need to pick this up. What the heck? I just looked at the screen. Um, I need to pick this game up. But uh, there are a lot more, and the reason I don't say he's like as OP is because there are a lot more center backs uh, now that fit that kind of David Luis build where they have that high 70s pace and then they have somewhere around the, or they have somewhere into the 80s or around the 80s and heading and defending so he doesn't feel like the end-all be-all center back that you kind of must have in your team anymore which is nice uh, it just means that there are loads more options referee that must be a red no come on uh, obviously there will be yelling at the ref, uh, but if you want to see which formations and whether or not David Luiz is OP, I don't think I even picked David Luiz for my best players under an 85 rating. Um, there are some other center backs that I think are quite a bit more fun than David Luiz, and that might just be me being a little bit of a hater and deciding that David Luiz, uh, his, everybody knows about him and I wanted to pick a few other players out. What's the first team that you'll be making or what do you think is the best first team to make? Uh, this is an interesting question because the answer is that there's no right answer. Um, what first team will I be making? So I had some a lot of joy and a lot of success playing with the Serie A team and a Bundesliga team at the event. So I'll definitely be looking at those teams. However, I will more so be looking for which players I can get a good deal on and which, which players I think are the best value for the coins that I have to pay for them. Now, oh gosh, 90th minute. Uh, I must send this into extra time. I must. I mean, Robin, Jamutinho, Jamutinho, Falcao, and Falcao. Oh, yes, there it is. Um, but that little uh, fake shot turn, you can do it like you would in previous FIFAs if 
you are not holding the sprint button. Your player has to be in near perfect control to do that fake shot straight backwards. So if you're holding sprint, he like or sprint, he like pulls it back and then kind of like stumbles or not really stumbles, but just slows up. Like he's tried to change, which is realistic because he's tried to change his direction 180 degrees going at full sprint. That's quite difficult to do, and it's not as clean as one would seem or as it has been in, uh, or it's not as clean realistically as it has been in previous FIFAs. So back to the question though, on which ultimate team I'm going to be making, I'll be looking for the best value team, or if I get a phenomenal player in one of my packs, uh, you know, fingers crossed, obviously, then I'll probably build a team around that player. Um, that's never happened to me before, uh, getting a good player with the starter packs, but uh, if I do, then I'll be building a team around that player. I'm also going to take into consideration uh, my experience with the Ultimate Team players and what I found to be important and what I found to be not important here. Obviously, passing, dribbling, uh, I very much enjoyed. And I'll probably be trying to fit a uh, format, one of my best formations to the players that I can get my hands on for the best value. So that's obviously a long-winded and very roundabout answer to that question, but that's kind of the way I go about thinking uh, which team I am going to make. <clears throat> All right, we'll do a few more. Is the demo released yet? Uh, the demo will be out at some point today. I wouldn't hold your, I wouldn't cross your fingers for waiting on the dashboard for when it'll actually be released. However, I would just stay posted to Twitter as I'm sure once it is released, everybody and their brother will be downloading the game. And that is a fantastic goal from Arian Robin. A little scissor kick at the end, the ball roll inside advanced rainbow, or maybe it's just a regular rainbow. I think it was just a regular rainbow now, actually. Yeah, just a regular rainbow, no advanced rainbow. Nice little scissor kick, tucks it past the keeper. Uh, what a fantastic left foot he has in the game. Do they call fouls more often and call penalties? Ref, asked Japes. Uh, that's, hmm, I don't really know how to answer that question. I didn't get loads of penalties called for me, uh, but I also didn't get fouled in the box tons. Um, and out on the outfield, I think for the most part, the calls were pretty decent. Uh, I didn't really, it wasn't one of those things that I was like, oh my God, refs are terrible in this game. Uh, so it wasn't the focal point for me. Uh, and that's that's kind of that's kind of where that is. Who's the most overpowered player under 80 rated? Uh, I think that's yet to be determined. Um, it's one of those things that overpowered is purely a, uh, I guess it's, it's overpowered is a term that's thrown around a lot in FIFA and in gaming in general. And uh, so far, my impressions on FIFA this year that nothing really feels super, well, Ibra felt ridiculous, but nothing feels super overpowered in the sense that you can, uh, oh my gosh, what a shot that is. Falcao is ridiculous. Um, overpowered in the sense that it can be it can be countered. And when I say it can be countered, I'm referring to if you have the right players kind of in your team, then you'll be able to shut that player down. There's no one player, I guess, that can't be shut down com well by a combination of good defending or good attacking. Um, and I can go more into that at a later date if that's something you would like to see. Uh, let's see, is FIFA 14 fun and do you think it'll be that way for the entire year? That is a fantastic question. Yes, it's fun. Will it be that way for the entire year? That is to be determined because obviously, you know, playing one game for a whole year is a lot to do. And this game itself is heading into extra time. So this was actually a really fun and quite exciting game to play uh, as, we, as we move on from here. Now we've got... Uh, We've got myself, I'm up two goals. Um, actually, we've been in extra time. What am I talking about? I'm clearly distracted by your questions. Uh, and the next question is preferred BPL five-star skiller. Uh, that'll be Nani without a question. The guy's ridiculous. Uh, are there any skill games on the demo? That I can't answer because I do not have the demo and I have not been told uh, what, what will be on the demo. Have I played FIFA 14 on next gen? I played it at E3, which was in June, so I'm sure they've made drastic improvements, but I remember thinking it was the coolest uh, footy video game that I've ever played when I played it on uh, next gen. So obviously the combination of graphics and improvements and things like that will make a huge difference and will you know allow for, uh, I guess, FIFA to be a bit revitalized. All right, so here we go. On Ultimate Team, if you have, for example, Byron Kit and Dortmund Badge, will the badge stay as Byron on Kit in-game? 
Uh, I think, as with all other FIFAs, you whatever kit you use is going to include the badge that's on the kit. Um, that would only make sense to me. It wouldn't make sense to include a different badge on the kit. So I hope that I hope that answers the question. Let's see. Can you play two v two seasons with another friend who is at your house, or just one, or just one console? Um, I'm assuming that if you if your friend has a gamer tag, you'll be able to play with that friend at your house. However, if because it's online seasons, online two v two seasons, you will need, uh, you know, and it keeps track of those sort of things. You'll def I would imagine that you'll need two gamer tags to be able to play it. So if you do not have those gamer tags, then you might have a bit of a difficult time. But if you do have those gamer tags, then you will be, you should be good to go, even if it is on the same console or on the same house. I'd imagine both you guys will just have to sign in, but that's something I'll have to look into further. Anyways, guys, we are coming to the end of this video versus the Young Master Bucks. I hope these questions and answers have been helpful for you guys. I hope I knocked out some of the other ones. If you have more questions and you want more answers, by all means, leave a comment on this video and I will do my absolute best to answer them. If you see someone else who has the same question as you do, thumbs that comment up so I can see it and I will do my best to answer that in a future video. Uh, and the last question, will you do a pro club series or even just a few more pro clubs videos in the future? The answer on 14, yes. I very much want to do something with pro clubs. Uh, and so I will undoubtedly try to do something with pro clubs. I encourage you guys to try it out this year if you've never tried it out before. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, make sure to click that subscribe button and click that like button if you did enjoy this video. Other than that, enjoy playing the demo today. My name is Japes and I will catch you all next time. Playing a uh, chemistry style on a player with decent chemistry will probably give him that two bar. And if a player's already on 10 chem and playing a chemistry style on him, that means he's going to get that maximum and tasty three up arrow improvement. So as we progress through the tutorial that we've got on the screen, all players start with their basic chemistry style. You can change from one style to another using the chemistry style consumable. What this means, there are no longer formation cards in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Chemistry.